Good morning, everyone. Everyone hear me? All right. Thank you all for coming out this morning on this beautiful Sunday. Whew. So I'd like to open up with a simple question. Who here has a simple lunch break at their work or at school? Oh, yeah. I hope so. Like, what, you should be eating. <laughs> now, like, who here prays before that? It's a good artist, a few. Who here has, like, clothes related to worship or God, like, a mission strip shirt or from camp from Delanco, something like that, yeah? Things like this can be ways we can minister for God, it can be ways we can be a witness. Now, this dawned on me when I was in the weight room for the cross season, and I had this one, like, a camp for Delanco shirt on. And one of the guys was like, yo, what's that shirt about? Like, what's Camp Delanco? And for me, like, I'm very quiet about my faith at school. Like, I kind of keep it on the low. And, like, I wish I didn't. But at that moment, he started a conversation about my shirt with me. So I was able to talk to him about God. I'm like, well, yeah, it's a camp about, it's a Christian camp. Every summer I go there, I counsel there. It's fun. And that got me thinking about this. So if you open to your Bibles in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise you and praise your Father in heaven. Now, I was thinking about this. And for most people, you're more introverts. And you, it's not easy for you to just go up and say, hey, want to talk about God? Like, things like that aren't happening in everyday lives. But what you can do for this is wear stuff and do things that other people will find curious. Because... We're curious people. I see something, I'm like, well, what's that? What are they doing? If you do things like prayer before your meal, people are going to look at that and be like, well, that's different. Wonder why do you do that? And that can start a conversation. They can, you can wear a shirt for camp. You can have a Christian make a necklace on. If they see these things and they see the way you act and it's different, these are all ways you can be witnesses for God. You don't have to go like 500 miles away to a smaller country full of poverty be a witness, and then you can be in your own backyard. You can be at your job, at your school. All these things we take for granted every day are such easy ways for us to witness. Like I said, like, I don't like talking in front of people. It's like this is very nerve-wracking for me. And like, even, it's simple things like talking in school with the guys about that. I'm more of the quiet guy on the team. But when having someone come up to me and start a conversation about God, it shows that, like, there is the hope for the world, and it's easier and it's easier and probably closer to reach than we think. People want to know about God. They're probably just as nervous as you are to talk about it, because everyone in the sh your shoes, like if you look at it, don't want to be different like that. But it's being different is what's going to make you stand out, and that's how you're going to be a witness to God. Jesus was different. And when you look at it, people look to him weird. He would pray, talk to people that you didn't want to talk to, to the prostitutes, stuff like that. They will look at him like, he's different. I wonder why. If you look at it, people who are against Jesus, even like question him, like talk to him about it, like, why are you doing this? And he flat out said to them, because like, he's the son of God, and that's what Jesus wants to do. That was his message for us, to reach out to these people and start conversations with them. And I'm sure most people back then started conversations with Jesus before. Jesus didn't even have to go out to them. People came to Jesus. This is another verse I want to go to. Just, just make me think about this. Colossians 3.17. I know why. You get that, I know. The verse says, Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Now, this verse can mean a lot of things. For me, it definitely means in your everyday lives, do everything in the glory of God. Whether it's you have an assignment at school and you really don't want to do it, but do it to the best of your ability and show your teacher that you put effort into it and that you're different. Or at work, if you have a presentation due by noon, that you sit down and you pray, take the time, and put all your heart into that. Because these small things in life that make you look different is what's going to lead people to God. 
I close in prayer for us. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing everyone out here today. Please help us be a witness to you in your great name and your work. Please let us be a light in this world that other people can find you and lead them to heaven with you. In your name we pray, amen.